So Dr. Brad Bengtson here at New Vista Surgical Center, part of the Bengtson Center for Aesthetics and Plastic Surgery. And here with Kristen Ludema, one of our expert anesthesiologists. We have 12 uh, anesthesiologists that rotate from Spectrum Group uh, through our surgical center. Um, last year we did about 2,500 procedures, uh, a little over 800 patients, and one of the most uh, dominant or predominant uh, procedures we do is abdominoplasty or tummy tuck, um, both as an isolated or standalone procedure, as well as mommy makeovers. It's really common to combine a breast procedure with the tummy. Um, there are two things that have really revolutionized uh, abdominoplasty uh, that we do here at the Bengtson Center that I think is unique. Uh, the first is we utilize uh, a new uh, drain, advanced drain technology called Interi. Uh, we call it an internal closure device. Um, surgical drains don't really work. It leaves a lot of complications and fluid underneath the skin doesn't allow the skin to approximate and close. So uh, we actually came up with a new device called Interi. And what's special about it is a multiple branching manifold that um, has about five times the negative pressure that suctions the, the skin down close to the abdominal wall and basically allows for that initial healing to happen. So it's really eliminated um, our major complications of fluid collection and poor wound healing from about 22% down to less than 2%. So that uh, is the first major advance uh, that you get here. The second thing that has really transformed our uh, abdominoplasty experience is what we're gonna talk about today with Kristen is called a tap block. And she's gonna go through the specifics of what a tap block is, how it works. We're actually gonna do a little demonstration, not actually doing the needle insertion, but you know, kind of go through exactly what's done. But essentially um, what a tap lock does, it provides a very long acting local anesthetic um, into the abdominal wall or abdominal fascia between the muscles that kind of bathes the nerves that are in the abdomen. So it essentially provides abdominal wall numbing for the entire muscle and the skin from essentially about the mid portion of your abdomen down, which is the direct area where a tummy tuck uh, happens, where all the pain and discomfort is. The pain mainly with abdominoplasty, probably similar to a C-section uh, for those that have had that, um, but it's really kind of limited around the belly button. And it's not a sharp stabbing pain, but it's just a dull, constant uh, pain. And so uh, the tap block is extremely useful because it will uh, really dramatically decrease the pain for the first few days. And Kristen will talk a little bit more about that. Um, it decreases the need for narcotics. So patients are less constipated, they're less kind of groggy, those sorts of things. Um, we still do uh, prescribe narcotics for a little bit of the breakthrough, uh, some of the additional pain relief, but it markedly reduces the need for that. And it allows patients to be up and active and mobile for the first two to three days. So it dramatically decreases the risk of blood clots in your legs. Um, it just increases your mobility so you're able to get up and around you know, a lot more. So those, uh, those two things have been just huge additions to uh, the abdominoplasty um, uh, patients. And particularly if they're having multiple other procedures like breast procedures, Usually they're a little bit less painful, but when you have breast pain, belly pain, you know, leg pain, maybe from liposuction or whatever, uh, it's just a it's just a great adjunct for uh, for our patients. So, tap block is what we'll talk about today, and uh, give it over to Kristen. All right. So again, like you said, I'm Dr. Kristen Luna, and I work with Anesthesia Practice Consultants, and we partner with the Bankston Center. Um, I actually also did a fellowship, um, meaning I did a year of specialty training in regional anesthesia, so doing specifically nerve blocks. And we do these a lot for patients having any abdominal surgery, even at the hospital. But an abdominoplasty is one of the perfect procedures 
for a tech block because you're targeting those muscles and the skin mainly and you're not going to like the viscera and the organs which aren't affected by abdominal plasty. So this block is very, very good for this specific procedure. Um, and a TAP block stands for transversus abdominis plane block. So uh, we're targeting the plane between the internal oblique muscle and the transversus abdominis muscle. Um, and that's where the nerves kind of come from your spine, wrap around to your belly. And we kind of just, like he said, bathe those nerves in local anesthetic. So it's a volume fascial plane block. We're not actually going next to the nerves specifically. So patients won't get any weakness or motor block. They just get a sensory block. So you're just gonna feel kind of that numbness. And some patients don't really notice this block until it wears off a few days later. And they said, wow, that really did help me. I just didn't realize it because it was working so well. And then a few days later, they might notice a little more of that sensation coming back. So typically we can do these nerve blocks actually while patients are still under general anesthesia. We do them both um, while patients are awake with sedation or under anesthesia, but because this nerve block is so safe and there are so few risks, um, having patients asleep under general anesthesia is um, nice. totally fine. And yeah. patients appreciate it too, yeah. because then they don't have that feeling of getting that needle poke, even though it's a very small needle. Um, and we also use direct visualization with an ultrasound machine. So being able to see the muscle layers of the abdomen and exactly where that needle and that medication is going helps us to target exactly where we want it to go and have very, very few risks and complications. Um, very low risk of that medicine going where it shouldn't go. So um, patients have that nerve block starting to kick in by the time they're already waking up for surgery. Um, so we, we use other forms of pain medication too, but using a multimodal approach and doing different forms of pain medication will make it so patients don't, like you said, need as many narcotics. Um, they usually can walk around easier after surgery without that as much pain. And it just decreases the side effects and the risks of having other types of pain medication. So we use a combination of a short-acting bupivacaine that um, kind of works right initially. And then we use a longer, slowly releasing local anesthetic uh, bupivacaine that releases over a period of 48 to 72 hours. So that medication, it's called Expirel, has really transformed this type of nerve block and giving patients just a longer block that they can target right at the nerves. So there really aren't, aren't any side effects because you're just right at the muscle layers. So cool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think, um, you know, again, this has really transformed our practice. Um, one of my mentors is Jeff Foxworthy, and Jeff says, uh, you know, you might be a redneck if an episode of Walker, Texas Ranger has changed your life. And so that's kind of how tap blocks and ultrasound has been for us. Um, you know, it's a real huge value add. It costs our practice probably a thousand dollars extra per patient for the tap blocks, the interior that we use the ultrasound systems, all those things. So, you know, for us, it's all about the patient experience um, and it really does add a tremendous value. Um, we not only use ultrasound in surgery for the ultrasound guidance of the tap block, but we also follow um, breast implants with ultrasound. We have the largest implant series in the world, as far as I know, uh, using ultrasound evaluation for breast implants. So we can evaluate and follow up uh, patients' implants within less than a minute. We can uh, tell if the implant's intact or not. So uh, ultrasound is is also another big big advantage and um, you know things that we're using in our practice. But um, so I think we're going to have Kristen kind of demonstrate a little bit on uh, one of our models here, model patients here today, to uh, kind of talk a little bit more about how it's actually done. Again, um, typically you're already asleep at this point, um, again, because we can use the ultrasound system to actually visualize exactly where we want to put the fluid that numbs the nerves and things up. So 
Um, you don't really know uh, that it's been done. And uh, until, like Kristen said, until it starts to wear off, you know, you kind of recognize that, hey, that really was super beneficial. So um, good. Well, thanks for watching today. And uh, we'll let Kristen then uh, continue to take over. Thanks a lot. Thank you.